Fair enough. Another very, very serious topic that's in the news at the moment, and uh, and this is the fact that there could be, and uh, there could have been a cover-up, there could have been a paedophile ring amongst the elite of Great Britain that led all the way to Downing Street. What do you say about that? Well, these are extremely serious allegations, and that's why the government has moved so quickly to try and get to the bottom of exactly what they are. So in the case of the, the Welsh Children's Home, which I think is the key case at the moment, you know, I said, although as I've been out in the Gulf, I said immediately, right, let's get a former high, get a high-ranking judge to look into this, look into these allegations, <clears throat> look into the case and make sure, because remember there was a three-year inquiry, sure. and ask the questions about whether the inquiry was conducted about Downing properly. Street, well, of course, and these accusations are... You've heard are the being, names? I've had, this is one of the problems, Philip, is I've heard all sorts of names being bandied around, and what then tends to happen is, of course, everyone sits around and speculates about people, hang on a second, some of whom are alive, some of whom are dead, and I do think it's very important that anyone who's got any information about any paedophile, no matter high, how high up in the country or whether they're alive or dead, go to the police. It and I think this a, is very important because otherwise... It a momentary uh, yes. cursory glance at the internet. It took me about yeah. three minutes last night to continually find a list of the same names. I have those names there. Those are the names on a piece of paper. You yeah. know the names on that piece yeah. of paper. Will you be speaking to those people? No, no, I think, Philip, this is really important, right? Because there is a danger, if we're not careful, that this can turn into a sort of, uh, a sort of witch hunt, particularly against people who uh, are gay. And I'm worried about the sort of thing you're doing right now, giving me a list of names that you've taken off the internet. Now, as I say, if anyone has any information about anyone who's a paedophile, no matter how high up in British society they are, that is what the police are for. And I would say, you know, to Tom Watson and to all these people who are quite rightly inquiring into all of this, you know, if you've got information, we are a civilised, democratic country under the rule of law, with a police force, with a justice system, go to the police. Now, the question for the government is always, if there's any evidence that investigations weren't, weren't conducted properly or if uh, inquiries were held that didn't get to the bottom of, of things, then government has to act. And that's exactly what we've but done with, in with the, the case of the North Wales mm. situation. Where, you know, hang on two seconds. Well, when no, someone no. specifically came forward and made a set of allegations, uh, and uh, that's why I immediately ordered this rapid investigation into the inquiry. The so we'll act very quickly wherever you, we need You mentioned to. the word inquiry. The, the, the North Wales inquiry, there's a Department of Health inquiry, there are three BBC inquiries, there are hospital yeah. inquiries, there are CPS inquiries. There are many inquiries. What happens if they miss something? Surely there should be one inquiry. Well, I think it's a very good question, but I, don't, I think the real question is, would that help us get to the truth quicker? I'm absolutely very, very anxious that the BBC finds out what went wrong that allowed Jimmy Savile to do all those things over so many years. I think the fastest way of that happening is the former judge they've got doing that investigation. I want to find out what happened in North Wales, whether this investigation was conducted properly, whether this man's allegations are true. The fastest way of finding out is this judge I've, I've appointed. Let's the uh, idea that if you had one mega inquiry mm. that you'd speed everything up, I'm not sure is true. I don't rule out taking further steps. I want the government to be absolutely on top of this. I don't want anything to be covered up. I don't want any information to be held back. If there are more things we have to do, we'll do them. But we always have to remember it's very easy for governments to just quickly stand Let, uh, up and say, here's a new inquiry. What we've got to do is get to the truth as fast as we possibly can. Let's move on to, to something that you, that you actually are here to talk about.